calling it a Cinderella moment for Louisvillian Oksana Masters. She won the bronze in the Paralympics in London. Well, next week, she's heading to the Big Apple to pick up another big award. And for the first time ever, she's going to take off her tennis shoes and wear high heels. So what do you think? I know. Do that pose. Do that pose, girl. <laughs> I love these. I'm going to sleep with these on. So you're looking down. This, this is, is your first time. Oksana striking a pose. Look down yes. and you'll see why. And yes, and like a little pretty shoe. At 23, what Oksana is calling her first real girly moment, wearing high heels for the first time. It's so hard feeling like a female, like a feminine female in prosthetics. It's, I mean, you, especially when your foot is stuck in one flat position. I know, I'm trying to. Oksana's pure delight leaving the room in tears. She's just such an inspiration. I just love her to death. This is usually how we see Oksana striking a pose with an oar on her shoulder, tennis shoes on her feet. It was in this magazine that Susie Williams from OrthoCare learned about Oksana. Her life in a Ukraine orphanage, birth defects because of radiation, both legs amputated and limited movement because of prosthetics. I don't think I'll be able to get this one just because the foot's longer. Susie in Louisville fitting Oksana yesterday with new state-of-the-art prosthetic feet and ankles, allowing her to adjust for high heels using an iPod thanks to microchips. Today, that magical fitting. But it really does seem like almost Cinderella. Is that silly to say? It's not. It really does seem like, like Cinderella. Like I've got the perfect shoe for for this huge event. Oksana with a quick wardrobe change for the dress she'll wear for that big event in New York when she becomes the first adaptive rower to win the title of Female U.S. Rowing Athlete of the Year, walking across that stage in heels. Being able to allow her to achieve one of her goals, which was, you know, to, to have a better functioning foot, but to also wear high heels is amazing. All right, we've seen her first pair of high heels. We're going to take another look at them. They're her first, but certainly not her last. Oksana already buying three pairs of heels and thinking ahead to her wedding day. Why are you strapping? I'm laughing, though, because I said, well, Oksana, do you have a guy yet? Oh, well, you know. Not yet? I have, yeah. So I picked up my wedding dress. I have my, my shoes. And I get that comment a lot. Oksana, you kind of need the guy first. <laughs> That's last. That was don't you love that? She's already figured out the shoes, for heaven's sakes. The husband, that'll come later. And I said, are you worried about walking in those heels across that stage? She said, nope. My nickname is Oopsana Grace, and if I trip up, I just keep on walking. Don't you oh, love that? I love it. She's I love terrific. It. Just